Hey guys, I hope that y'all are having a really fantastic day. So today I went shopping at Whole Foods, Publix, and Harris Teeter. I went to um, Publix, no, I went to Whole Foods first. And I was really excited because um, Alexandra and I did a movie study on Thursday. And for our participation, we received a $25 gift card. And one of the options was Whole Foods. And so I was super excited to get that because one of my wish list items to win is like, you know, on the end of the receipts, um, most stores do like win $500 in groceries or something like that. And so I love filling out those surveys in hopes that I'm gonna win one day. And so getting this $25, it's not 500, but hey, it's a start. So <laughs> I was really excited about that. So let's get started. So I got some corn on the cob. You know, the kids have really been loving this. So it was just regular price at 349. I got the Beyond Good Bar. This is a salted um, caramel and we tried one of these before. I can't remember if it was this one or not, but it was delicious and it is vegan. Um, but it was $3.99 and I bought a skipping back $2. So it made it just $1.99. Super excited about that. <clears throat> Another reason why I was excited to get to Whole Foods is because I won a giveaway. So Kite Hill was doing um, a giveaway. I think they sent like an email a while ago and I didn't even realize I had won. Um, but yesterday I received a free coupon in the mail for any Kite Hill product up to $10.99. And I've been wanting to try these raviolis, but they're regular price $8.49. And I just couldn't bring myself to spend that. <laughs> but when I got that coupon yesterday, I said I know exactly what I'm going to get. So these were $8.49, but I used my free coupon. And so it made them completely free. Um, this Frontier Cinnamon, this was $3.27 or $3.37, and I had a dollar coupon that I printed like sometime last year from Grocery Network coupons, so it made it $2.37, and I was completely out of cinnamon, so that's why I got that. I got four cans of coconut milk. I think these were $2.19 each. Um, I got two more packages of the blueberries. These were $4.99. The kids ate up the last ones like in a matter of five minutes. I didn't even get a chance to taste <laughs> one of them. So I'm sure that these will not make it long. I got some more tater tots. They were a big um, hit last week. So these were $2.99. And it's a really large bag, two pound bag. <clears throat> so Forager was doing um, a promotion they emailed, they sent out emails and they were asking you to respond like what your favorite product was or something like that. And so I responded and they were doing like a larger giveaway. And then um, I think for basically everybody that responded within the amount of time, they emailed them a coupon for a free product. And so it was up to $6.99. And so I picked this up. Um, this is the cashew milk drinkable yogurt and it's a pretty big bottle, 28 ounces. But it was regular price $5.99, I believe, but it was free with that coupon. And then I got the Fresh Cravings Restaurant Style Organic Salsa. This was, wait, no. No, no, no. Sorry. Wrong store. That's Publix. <laughs> that was all for this one, I believe. So this is everything. And it was, was at $48.20, but then after my coupons. And my gift card, it was $7.72. Um, but factoring that back in, and I got back $2 for my bottle, it would have made it $30.72 for these items. So now I'm at Publix. The Fresh Craving Salsa is on sale for BOGO, so it was like $1.99 for those. The Phil Roast items are on BOGO. And so it's been a really long time since I purchased these so I really couldn't remember which one the kids um, liked. Excuse me. So I just kind of got a variety. <laughs> so I got the Italian garlic and fennel, apple and um, maple breakfast sausages. And then I don't think I've ever purchased the bratwurst before, but I got these as well. But these were regular price $5.99. So it made them basically like $3 a piece. 
I had a dollar coupon that I had printed a while ago from coupons.com and then plus I bought us giving back a dollar and fifty um, mine was up to five times so it basically made them like 50 cent a pack which is incredible down from 5.99 or even from um, three dollars so I got the Rotel we're planning on making um, a Rotel sausage dip um, with the uh, what was it the impossible sausage that I got last week and I still have some of the Siete um, cashew cheese so we're gonna try to make this work see how it turns out um, but these were regular price 119 and I had a digital for a dollar off of two so it made them a dollar 38 for them both together then the dumplings were on sale again this week for BOGO so I picked up both of these I like to have these for lunch sometimes um, two of the kids like them it seems like I mean it's really rare guys that all three <laughs> like something like it's usually two or one or none <laughs> but two of them like them and I like them and Bernard likes them so they're nice for lunch or sometimes we'll have them um, as a side with like fried rice but it made them $2.50 a piece the Chobani coffee creamer as well as the milk is on sale BOGO this week so they're like $2.99 no $1.99 um and then I had a dollar digital, so it made it 99 cent for some creamer. The wishbone is regular price at 232. I had a digital for a dollar off that was get ready to expire. And so it made it 132. Wishbone is my favorite Italian dressing. And I really have been having a craving for some um, pasta salad. So I think I'm probably gonna make that this week. The Laura Bar Minis were on sale BOGO, so I got the chocolate chip cookie dough, which is my favorite. And then um, we also like, but Carter really likes, the peanut butter chocolate chip. And it comes with 10 in each one of them. But they were $6.39, so basically like $3.20 a piece. And I had a dollar digital, so if I just got one, it would have been like $2.20. Um, but still a great price to get both boxes for $5.39. I got some grape tomatoes. These were $2.50. I got some hummus. This was also $2.50. Um, I got some strawberry preserves, also $2.50. <laughs> this um, tart cherry juice, I got this for my mom. You can see where the pili was. This was $1.61. It had a $0.55 cent, um, pili coupon on it. But whenever I scanned it, a dollar came off, so it made it just 61 cent. And that happened when I purchased this another time, so I don't know how that happens, but it did, so. Um, and then I got this Santa Cruz Agua Fresca. It just looked like it was gonna taste good. It says mango passion fruit. Um, so this was on closeout for $1.64. I thought that would be nice for us to sip on while we're watching the Super Bowl or for Valentine's Day. Um, I think that's everything. Hopefully. We'll see. Let me start looking at the receipt. <laughs> oh, I got it wet. There it goes. So there's everything there. Oh, and I found these Harvest um, peas. I thought they were BOGO, but it rang up at regular price, so that's where I had to take that off. And then those are my coupons. So that coupon that I used for the Rotel, it said Hunt's Rotel and maybe one other product, but that's what it was. The Wishbone and then the Laura Bar and the Chobani. So it was $39.45 and then I got back um, $7.60 from Ibotta. So $7.50 was for the Phil Rose and then a 10 cent for any bottle of water. I don't know what that attached to. Um, I guess maybe this one or this one so I got that back so it made it $31.85 for all of those goodies and then my last stop was at hair cedar so I got these rainbow carrots here and they just look so pretty um, but these are regular price $2.49 and they had a $2 peely on it so it made it just 49 cent that was an awesome price I got this cucumber here I think it was like a dollar yeah $1.59 um the so delicious and the silk 
these were on sale for a dollar fifty i had 50 cent coupons from coupons.com well i had three of them and then i submitted for it on the coupons.com app um they did say do not double so they did not double so they were a dollar um and i thought i had a coupon online for this one but i think it was for the greek one instead so this one was a dollar fifty we are out of chocolate chips so i got these they were 350 i think the puff pastry was on sale bogo so it makes it a dollar 99 i just went ahead and got four because i love this stuff and it doesn't go sale often enough but i also got some apples so i'm gonna make like an apple tart or something um with one of them and then we'll just use the other ones probably for dinner items Alexandra wanted some kiwi. These were three, four dollar. So we got six of those. Um, I hadn't seen this brand before, but it was Plant Junkie and it's ranch. I usually make my own ranch dressing, um, but it's nice if this is good <laughs> to have one that um, I don't have to make all the time. But this was three dollars. The Sweet Baby Rays was on sale for BOGO. So it was what was it? it ended up being like a dollar and something well i don't see oh there it is a dollar 59 the no sugar added is my favorite so i got that the califia is on sale this week two for seven i had a two off of two digital coupon so it made it two for five um i thought that was a really great price for this brand because you don't get it on sale for such a great price that often and i really like this one um, the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. This was BOGO, so it was $2.14. I got some cinnamon rolls. We usually have cinnamon rolls on Valentine's Day. And so I got two of these, and they were $4.50 each. And I got some more ketchup. It was $1.74. Um, this non-dairy Simple Truth Cheddar Slices. These rang up $3.99, but they were supposed to be $3.50, but I didn't catch it until I got home. I got these skewers because before we know it, it'll be grilling season. And these were on clearance for 75 cents, which is great because there's quite a bit in here. How many? 100. So but that's really great. Um, I've never seen this before, but this is a Land of Lakes plant-based spread. And this was BOGO and it was like $1.74, I believe. Um, the super pretzels were also bogo it was 199 had dollar coupons and then because i had already done my rebates one time at food lion for a dollar it was just 50 cent um rebates this time so it made them 50 cent a box which is really awesome and i got two more pineapple these were 229 or 249 each and then i got a five pound bag of granny smith apples these were 6.99 and did I talk about the guacamole? It was $1.99. <laughs> and then I bought it to give them back a dollar, so it makes some 99 cents. There were printables available on coupons.com, but I have already used all of mine. And I think that is everything. So let's go over this. Here's everything. This was $70.67. And then I got back $3 from my bada and then 50 cents from the coupons.com app. Bringing everything you see here to be $129.74. So all of this, um, of course, we won't eat in a week's time, but it's really great whenever you find deals like this to get it and you can have it for um, future meals to kind of have items on hand and not have to run out and pay full price for them so this is everything that we picked up for this week guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope that you guys have a really awesome day bye